What the hell is up, Internet Citizens? Mad from Endless SOS here. Webcam's still broken, still gotta deal with this stuff, and these guys standing on mounts because, you know, graphical stuff. So, Nintendo picked a new president for their main Japan office thing. It's not Shigeru Miyamoto. It's not Genyo Takeda. I'm like butchering these names, but that's okay with me. Um, it's actually the company's former managing director and Nintendo Human Resources head, kind of kind of odd mix there, uh, Tatsumi Kimishima. I believe I'm butchering that. Um, let's keep in mind, you know, a couple months have passed since Satoru Iwata died, and, and that was really sad because he was kind of like the cool grandpa of gaming, right? Like every time he got on stage, he was just like, Hey guys, I made a Mario game. You want to you wanna look at it? Because I'm real proud of it. He was always just real happy about just games. Um, from what, like, reports and people that knew him said, he wasn't, like, really, like, anal retentive about anything. He didn't even really view himself as CEO, right? He just kind of, like, hung out, like, hey, I, I guess I make a lot of money. I don't really care all that much. Let's make games, everybody. And that was really cool. People really liked that, like, overall, like, happiness vibe thing that he had to him. And he, he had this infectious attitude when he came on stage and he was like, hey, I don't speak a very bad English, but... I am making you games. Everybody love me. And that was that was cool. Now this new guy spent like three decades working for a bank. Now I'm not saying that you need to be Mr. Uh, Gung-Ho head of like public speaking and all that in order to run Nintendo. No, I mean it was just it's kind of nice. And you know we've got Reggie being uh, head of Nintendo of America. And, Everybody likes Reggie. He's like that weird uncle that, like, he likes games, but he really sucks at them. So, yeah. I think this year, actually, um, maybe at E3 they're doing a Smash tournament, right? And I might be confusing this story with something else. But just assume for the sake of humor that this story is accurate at this point in time. Well, I guess Reggie got up there and he was like, Let's play some Smash Brothers guy who completely dominates the Smash Brothers. And the guy who plays Smash Bros. is like, No, Reggie, you are really bad at this. Hello, 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 hello. I am going to make fun of you. And then Reggie was like, Well, you know, it's not like I have a company to run or anything. You know, kind of kind of can't sit here and play games all day. GG. Good times. Well played. Surrender at 20. Mass Hydras. No rush. Anyways, um, I, I, I'm excited to see what this new guy does. I was looking at his portfolio of... Um, Lots of stuff, like things that Mr. Tatsumi has done, and there's, like, he's worked for Nintendo for a long time, and, like, bounced around. He was actually head of Nintendo of America for a little while before Reggie replaced him, so this isn't, like, some no-name guy that just comes out of nowhere, right? But he looks really serious, like, you will enjoy video games that I make, or I will murder your firstborn child, or something. Like, he looks really intense. Like, he really wants to sell me video games. I'm like, well, I mean, if, if that's what you really want to do, bub, I mean, I'm, I, I guess I will possibly buy your consoles. Um, it might be nice to have a guy that's a little bit more uh, business savvy, but I've always kind of liked that Nintendo's been kind of niche, right? They've they've always just kind of done their own thing, and like they've they've made games that everyone wants and everyone plays, but overall, it's not really been about that. And I can get behind that. I mean, like, let me rephrase that. It's not been about money, right? Like, Nintendo seems like, kind of like Blizzard, actually, where they're making bank because they have a well-established name and they have good products, but they don't need to sit there and worry about deadlines and, and, and punish everything. Like, they're Nintendo pushes things back because, well, maybe the game's not fully done yet or maybe they wanted to add an extra feature, and that's totally cool with that kind of stuff. Um... So overall, I, I don't think it's bad to have a guy that's might be totally business-minded as opposed to being more of, like, you know, uh, like a game developer, like Satoru Iwata was. I mean, come on, you can't get by that whole, like, Muppet little puppet Star Fox thing they did. That was adorable. Like, ugh, it was cool. So, I don't know. Time will tell. If you guys know anything about Mr. Tatsumi Kimishima, by all means, throw it in the comment section below. Let me know what you think. R.I.P. Mr. Satoru Iwata. You'll be missed. Hopefully Nintendo will carry on your legacy of producing great games. 
we, uh, I, I don't know. It, it's hard to be hopeful. It is. When there's so many, like, shitty publishers out there. I'm just hoping Nintendo doesn't fall by the wayside. But I don't think it will, so I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching my vlog. Sorry about the webcam being busted. If you want to be an awesome person, it really helps me out a lot if people like, share, and comment my videos. I don't just say that because it's like beautiful fluff words. I say that because, well, it helps the YouTube system, like, self-promote my stuff. So, it's super handy. It helps me grow the channel. So, yeah. But if not, you know, hey, at least thanks for the view.